welcome ji let's start uh, the java tutorial in the today uh, i am going to discuss about the two uh, topic one i am discussing basic about the enum data type enum data types and second i will discuss about the annotations how annotations are used what are the syntax and semantics so let's uh, uh, first uh, i'm going to start how you can use your declare enum types generally we have till now study your primitive data types we have discussed about your user defined data types like uh, your object data type your reference data type similarly you have a another data types known as a enum data types you can declare enum and mm, use as a data types <coughs> so enum types as a special data types uh, that enable for a variable uh, to be set up predefined constant okay this is the generally used to define a variable uh, that we know previously set of uh, values the variable must be equal to uh, one of the value that has been uh, predefined for it the common example uh, may be your and uh, you know key our uh, directions we have generally four directions fix your uh, north south east and west so or you can say the days of week we know monday tuesday wednesday so in this case we know these are the pre uh, set of value so in those cases scenario uh, we can declare individually constants like here we declare constant one constant two constant three uh, constant four instead we can declare one in m types that i hold this for possible all uh, all uh, predefined value because they are the constant the name of the enum types fields are generally in upper case why we are writing this is general guidelines whenever you are defining any uh, constant variable you should follow as a uh, upper case letter this is the general guidelines uh, the developers should have follow it so in this example let's uh, as a java programming language uh, if uh, uh, you if you define an enum types by using the enum keyword so if you want to define your own enum types the first you have to have use the enum keyword uh, like here you have your enum keyword and this is your uh, name of your enum this is the day enum and all the possible all the possible value okay uh, this is like your uh, sunday monday and tuesday and wednesday and thursday and friday and saturday so in this way you can define your enum and you should use enum types uh, anytime you need to present uh, represent a fixed set of value okay uh, and uh, that's uh, includes uh, natural uh, your enum types uh, uh, such as your planet's name in the solar system maybe your data set where we know uh, data sort set where you know all the possible value at the compiled times okay so this is the good place where you can use the enum you know these are the set of predefined value we know before the your compilation time so in this case and you know this is all of the possible fixed value constant value so for those you can create your enum data types let in the case of uh, we have a define your uh, enum keyword and your enum name take your days okay and he will define all the possible value okay here it is a monday this day this day this day friday so this is the way enum you can declare i look like here you are declaring your uh, 
like an integer and uh, like uh, your uh, number okay uh, then you can uh, initialize your number go to that's 100 and after that you use use like your number so similarly you can use your uh, this is your declaration this is your initialization this is your using use of your data type similarly you can define your data types and your tree this is your declaration and how you to initialize you initialize the day is equal to your all the constant you can apply days dot and whatever your constant you want let's monday and how to use this your here you can use your okay so this is the way just you run it right this way you can switch so uh, uh, this is the your uh, integration Integration. This is your installation. 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 And this is your huge. So uh, just to consider, uh, enum is also kind of a new data type. So, uh, where this uh, enum for defining you know, give the your uh, enum data types name, and and after that uh, you will specify this is the uh, like uh, uh, enum is the data types, not a primitive, not a class, and all the predefined possible value where you want. You have to declare and how to this is your initialization now you are initializing i am going to creating your uh, day variable of the data type is the date and what is the value initial this value hold of monday and how to use just print it so uh, be uh, aware these are the your literal primitive value but here we can we note all these are object all these are object okay what types of object this is a types of your day types object all the which types of object all are the object all are the object but what the types is the day so similarly like we have created a class okay we have a created class a and a we have defined here some value after that you can create the a object one object a create object two two object two you can create a class object three so these are the object one object two object three of the types of your a class similarly these all are the object of enum type 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 okay so these are the object this is not a kind of primitive value but these objects are constants okay and uh, uh, similarly sometime you have to also define uh, some constructor here and here some can define some constructor i want to initialize your object to the predefined some value so here you have also option if you need to uh, define some constructor then you can write uh, here Let's see, I want to notify the constructor your day. Here, this let's take some integer value, default value. So, you know, uh, default value. And say, uh, so you have to declare one uh, variable like uh, your uh, integer uh, value. Well, 
and here whatever you are uh, receiving from each objective is signed back here. But you notice here uh, now we have defined a constructor inside. This is defined constructor, but all the object we have created without constructor. So you have to pass this value initial with. So here we have to pass uh, some kind of your well if we want to like here I pass 100 or uh, here you pass 200 here you pass 300 here you pass 400 here you pass 500 here you pass Okay, so this way uh, you have to uh, see how to ensure these all are the object of your date types. Whenever you have created object at the time your constructor you know and this day you have created one constructor with the help of your one argument variable. So all the object which are you creating you have to pass this one default value. Okay. So if this is the way you look like in the class, but uh, this class uh, in a major kind of a class, but it is the user a kind of a very special. Whenever you are creating the class, at the same time you have to define all the possible object as well as you cannot run time change uh, some new object. So if you know this is a class, you know this is the fixed set of a predefined object that uh, is the very suitable case to use the enum. Okay. And uh, some uh, Java programming language uh, enum types are uh, much uh, more powerful than the uh, uh, other language like uh, class. So enum declarations uh, define a class. As I say, it look like it is a class enum types. But enum class body can include the methods and other field as well as. Okay, uh, here you have defined some method and uh, just like I have defined a field as well as and the compiler automatically added some special method when it created enum. So whenever we are creating enum, some methods compiler automatically added in so like uh, this is the one static method values method. That return the array of containing all the uh, value of enum in order they are declared. Uh, this method is commonly used in the combination of a uh, for each construct to iterate over the value of for enum types. So you are here you are trying to say you have to declare uh, some method, declare constructor and some method like uh, this is the values method by default your compiler provided. Let us check this method available in our class or not. So here uh, let's uh, say our uh, uh, days dot days dot values okay, you say uh, you have some method like values of values and the value of uh, some data types so these are the method okay values okay so they, they declare collector and here you can say Values dot okay, and here you can say for each and your these D colon your all values, and here you can test out your all day. So here we are able to print all the values okay. and if you want to okay so if you want to print the your uh, in parallel value as well as then you can say let's start the value of Okay, value well, written all the day and uh, it 
dot well. Okay. Uh, we have declared one variable well and that have a contain all the value. So here you can check our value value. Uh, instead of uh, writing your uh, public uh, method, you can declare private and write some method. Yeah, all the ways. Or you can say here, you just write another method as well as public uh, get my well. Hmm. And here you can return your well and And here you say it's a private so that anyone not can access. And here you cannot access private data member, then you can get your private value and it's way. So, in them uh, look like uh, similarly as a constant, you can declare constructor, you can declare method, you can declare variables, and uh, no? here you are declaring variable, here you can declare a your constructor here you can declare your methods okay and the only condition this is not a class reason is that they know all the best possible objects of this class so day class yeah day enum types no they have only this uh, seven number of uh, objects okay so when you are going to we, we you know all the fixed possible value for a particular uh, class object in that case doesn't create a, like a class you can create enum and that help us to uh, initialize all the object with a predefined value with the help of the setup constructor if you're not uh, providing any kind of a value that uh, default value equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 is assigned by the compiler and some default uh, methods are like this uh, days dot value we have not defined any values values method here but we are able to access our days dot value method from this our day class okay some default method is provided by the compiler and if you need to you add on your you can add Okay, this is the way and so you know uh, if uh, enum is a class so by default all the enum explicitly extend a java dot lang dot enum class so this is a by default all the enums are uh, the extended is subclass of your enum superclass so note the constructor for enum type uh, must be your uh, private package a private access it automatically created the constant when they are defined at the beginning of in a body okay so you cannot you know constructor uh, yourself okay so when you are uh, declaring your inner and defining constant one constant two constant three constant four at the same time constructor you know constructor you know so respective constructor must be defined and manually after the uh, uh, creations of your enum you cannot manually create a constructor you know constructor constructor automatically you know when you are uh, defining your set of possible predefined constant value just like uh, here whenever we are defining a monday uh, one object this constructor is, is your you know clear when you are defining a tuesday constructor you know wednesday constructor you know thursday constructor you know Friday constructor in you know, Saturday constructor in you know, and all the these are the day and types they have all the possible seven objects also this is about the uh, uh, enum if you want to more detail about the enum so I have created a separate uh, video you watch uh, that as well as uh, if you need, I can provide the link of that uh, video inside a comment box. And now let us uh, talk about the annotation. Uh, annotation is a form of metadata. Okay? That provides uh, information uh, data to your compiler at the different level. 
okay so sometime you want to provide some additional information to your class generally we are writing some kind of your comment this class your method is the specific purpose for this uh, someone may be reading or uh, someone may be going to create document uh, just read those comment additional message about the class about the method so these informations uh, have a, a done or uh, through your, your annotation the annotation kind of a uh, additional information a metadata information that provide more about that particular class particular methods and at the which level uh, this information will be available so these are the following uh, levels okay annotations have a number of uses so information for the compiler if you want to inform some information to compiler so annotation can be used by the compiler to detect error or suppress warning something and uh, uh, compile times are deployment and the deployment time processing uh, software tool can process annotation information and generate some xml code file code means you can provide information at deployment times or compile times as well as you can provide information at the runtime process okay. uh, some annotations are available uh, to be available in exam at runtime. So this information, whatever information you are providing at your class level, your method level, this can be float either at a compile time level or at a runtime level or a method level or which level. So you can inform. Uh, so what are the general uh, simplest uh, form if you are talking about if you are uh, like uh, your annotation to play like this. Day. This is a keyword you can use at the end. Uh, uh, at uh, sign character indicate that a compiler that follow is the annotations and uh, for example here so at the rate and your annotation name here okay are you uh, here this is annotation like generally whenever you are writing a, a some uh, uh, overloading overriding at that time so okay, over at the rate override and you are overriding a, uh, any particular method that means that this is a, some you have some uh, super class or interface where they have uh, defined the signature of this method and you are overriding here. So this uh, tell uh, your uh, compiler that this, this method should be overridden. Okay. Look like, uh, let's see here, uh, I'm uh, uh, writing uh, like a uh, override to sin. So uh, here is the, uh, 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 here is your annotation okay to string so in this way there are some predefined annotation generally we are used uh, when we needed you can create my own annotation as well as let us example uh, annotation can contains element which can be named or unnamed uh, their value for those annotation like like this is my class Okay, this is my class i want to give some information like uh, name this and date this okay so this uh, is the author author this is the my class author is this so author is the at the rate annotation author and this, this information is provided to the compiler i uh, show similarly you can write here at the sup suppress warning you can uh, warning and sometime you found if uh, this is the only one attribute defined a particular uh, Annotation, you can skip this value and you can directly pass it this way. Okay, uh, so if a notation has a no element, then parentheses can be omitted. Okay, uh, if a particular notation there is no any uh, uh, value available, then you can skip to this parenthesis only pass your like uh, at the rate overriding. Okay, you can skip this as well. If uh, your annotation defines some attributes like your name, a and you can then you can pass those as a parenthesis. So let us uh, how to define. Okay. So generally let's key all the possible. You can also use the one class. Uh, one class you can provide multiple annotation one and annotation two as well as. Okay. And like uh, you can give in some annotation. Same annotation you can repeat as well as. Okay, uh, if the annotations have the same type, this is a color uh, repeating annotations. Sometime you have an option to do your annotation is repeatable or not. So this is note repeat 
string annotations are supported from Java 8 onward. Before Java 8, you cannot uh, use the same annotation twice. Uh, so, uh, so where annotation can be used, we have already discussed the annotation can be applied to the declaration, articulation of a classes, fill, method, and other program element. So generally, this annotation you can uh, generally vary in the class level or a method, a uh, field level. Generally, sometimes you can use, then you can apply uh, the method level as well as. So, uh, when used uh, in a declaration, each annotations are often appear by the convention in the its own line. Okay, see, so we have write a separate line for each annotation that uh, should be more clear to read uh, by a developer. So, this is the places where you can uh, generally use uh, uh, when we are creating instance or uh, creation and expression. Like here, I am creating my new object. Here, you can apply your annotations. You are just uh, while the typing cast. This is the my string sign, and this is the string variable you are typing uh, from converting and assigning this to the type cast in the my string object. Here, you can assign your annotation as well as. Uh, Sometimes, let's give are implementing any some general. Uh, any implementing interface, this is the, your list interface. So here you can uh, apply key. This uh, our data type should be read only. Yeah, read, this list should read only. only, only. Uh, sometimes you also apply annotation while the throwing exception. You are throwing some exception here, and here you can apply some annotation like this uh, temperature exception. You can have criticals. So here are uh, multiple the use cases where we kind of. Uh, provide additional information about the class, about the method. Uh, so let us uh, let's see one example where we are want to declare my own address annotation. So example, let's see many annotations replace the comments in a code. Like uh, this is your code. Generally, whenever some write this is I am writing code. So I write this information. Okay like your uh, author class state this 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 city and after that your class code so this information writing inside your class why this can be written either you add the annotation information can't place it okay so you have to make a kind of a unique uh, 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 author detail for all the classes then you should follow like uh, just declare one annotation and that annotation annotations is by the every classes Okay, so this is the view. So how we achieve it? Uh, so first we have to define my own interaction. Sorry, excuse me. So uh, you you first define your annotation types. So how to define an annotation type? We have to use a keyword interface. Your annotation name at the right keyword. Uh, what are the possible uh, elements a value you want to specify? So these are the interface. We have to just uh, declare the value. Okay. So let us uh, write. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to. Write uh, uh, interface. Uh, let's key my annotation. Okay, annotation. Uh, here uh, you can uh, write at the rate. So you now this is uh, your annotation created. Now if you write uh, here uh, class uh, by class, in this class you can specify at the rate my annotation. So this is a simple way uh, here. First, uh, you are uh, your defining annotation. Here is a defined annotation, and this annotation does not have any element, so you can just only write at the rate my annotations. So you have not any uh, value you have to pass here. Why? Because we are not defining any element here. And uh, sometimes, let's say you have a defined uh, like a, a string, let's key value. Okay. So here, uh, what do you think? Uh, this uh, want you have defined one value, so you have to pass one value here, here as you like. 
okay so if you're not passing uh, the so uh, value is uh, missing uh, so yeah so you have to pass the value so if you have only one element value then you have the option so you can just as uh, pass this and write so my value in this way you can write so uh, this is the way you can define one element those element value can pass through this way so if this is the case of only only one value then you can pass uh, the two i just look like as a constructor or a loop or you can also pass uh, like uh, instead of this you can say okay no i specify the value equal to this so both way you can pass let's give you another element like a, a string name okay so name so this is interface and uh, this is the interface uh, this interface uh, annotations are used uh, here in the other annotation i uh, have then is the two value okay so you have to pass the value one and value two as well if you're not passing they are throwing exception okay uh, the name missing so you have to pass as a name So this is the way you can define your own annotations. Okay, here you are defining my annotations, and on the my class, this is my class. On this class, I can use my annotations and provide the information to you. So let's go someone read this class. Then know this is the, your annotation details. Okay. So this is the syntax about uh, how to creating your annotation. You have to use that symbol and it's right interface and your name of your annotation and what are the possible elements a value you are defining sometime you can define some default value as well as okay default what is the default if someone not specify then what would be the default value let's write here i am writing like uh, your uh, a string your last name Last name. Okay, last name. I am saying this is the default. Default. Default equal to. Default. Default may be not needed. Default should be blank. So here you say this is the. If uh, I am not writing default, then uh, this throw uh, exception. Uh, this throw key value missing okay uh, this the key your last name is missing but so key someone may be not mandatory so i have to provide the default so it's a uh, allow so if a default value are placed here okay if you want to pass you can pass over at the value so similarly you have to pass uh, for the default value as well as okay so in this the way as per your uh, need what kind of information you want to provide about the, in the form of your annotations you can place here and this so if uh, you, uh, and if uh, you have a first hmm, yes uh you first define your uh, annotation types here i define first annotation type uh, after that uh, if this is the definition that someone can use just i show in our example so first uh, annotation type definition look like a uh, similar to an interface okay? uh, the keyword interface are used uh, at the at the sign uh, at the red character and an annotation types are a uh, form of your uh, interface and which will be okay. the body of uh, annotations definition contain the annotations types element okay uh, what the declaration look like and you have a uh, some also we can define some optional value as well as so here uh, as uh, this is our class now before in the class inside we have provided lots of comment here and that instead of writing comment we can say this uh, class have a like a some class uh, preamble address and these are the possible value okay 
So in this way, you can use your annotations. The same we have used in my class and my annotation. So this is very handy thing, so handy uh, annotations you can easily create and you can easily use uh, as per your convenience. So as uh, uh, there are some, as is our language predefined annotations provided to us, like some I am so use the override. Similarly, suppress warning. Similarly, you are either deprecate if you want to deprecate some method. So these are the annotation predefined Java dot lang package provide to us. So whenever we need, we can use. And the Java 8 uh, onward, uh, this is the new annotation known as the functional interface. Okay, this annotation introduced in your Java 8. I see it uh, that's indicate that this declaration intends to the uh, uh, funks any interface is a functional interface if uh, those interface define only one uh, single abstract method okay in that case those interface known as functional interface so we have to know these are the predefined data type uh, predefined annotation we can use as our used and these are the some annotations used by your annotation class itself. Whenever you are defining your own annotation at the red time, at that times you want to use some another annotations. Okay, known as your meta annotation. Okay, uh, annotation that uh, apply to another annotation known as a meta annotation. Uh, these are uh, uh, several meta annotations uh, that, uh, that is already defined in your uh, java.lang annotations. So what are those? The generally I say retention policy. Uh, specify how the mark annotation is stored. This is the you have a like retention policy like your uh, source level or a class level or a runtime level. So these are the your retention policy by when your annotations is available. So oh, uh, mark annotation is retained only the source level, okay? and at that is ignored at a compile times. Okay, uh, if you specify the retention policy as a class level, so you will uh, provide like uh, annotation retain uh, at the compile time level, but it is ignored by your runtime JVM. If you uh, pass your runtime, that means this annotation is retained by your uh, at the JVM level, okay, uh, while the running application. So you can specify your uh, like here in my interface I can say at the rate uh, at the rate uh, your uh, retention policy and you can see here uh, retention policy at a uh, runtime okay. so in this way uh, in this way your uh, while defining your annotations you can use another annotations okay that is known as your uh, meta annotation that is by your uh, behavior about your annotation what when by when your uh, annotations will be available uh, similarly uh, you can have a uh, different annotations uh, like uh, sometime your uh, document annotation that means uh, uh, this annotation indicate that uh, whenever a specific uh, annotation is used uh, while the java doc whenever uh, some um, you are generating java doc if you are mentioned at the red documented that means a specific uh, elements you have specified that is a part will be the part of your documentation so you have to apply here like uh, your at the red documented okay so these are the uh, annotations if you look this is the annotations also okay this is a predefined annotations here the annotations are defined only one Value field. The value fields is the uh, uh, these are the value. You can say runtime annotation types are your documented. So similarly, you have write your own annotation as well. And uh, let us talk about more like this is the one at the target annotations. Uh, annotation to restrict what kind of Java element annotation can be applied. Okay, uh, you are apply these annotations uh, at so you have to specify your target annotation. You specify one of the following element types, just like uh, the, your annotation types. You can say, or you can add the constructor label, at the field level, at the local variable level, at the method level, at the package level, at the parameter level, at the type level. So these are a kind of uh, your uh, uh, red target where you can. This in this case, our we are to define our the uh, class level. You can 
uh, apply at the element of class okay type label so you can write here you can write at the rate our target and here uh, uh, specify your element level which element you want to specify i want to type level means this uh, notation this annotation can apply on the class level so similarly some uh, annotation like your uh, add the rate inherited add the rate repeatables so multiple uh, meta annotation available as per our use case uh, we have to use these uh, meta annotations while uh, writing our own uh, customized annotations okay mm, so these are the some uh, brief summary about the annotations and if you want to read uh, more if you want to go more detail in about the annotation so i've already created one detailed video on uh, annotations you can uh, just go and watch those if you need i can uh, share those links in my comment as well as so uh, here uh, just uh, i like to say if uh, uh, in the case of uh, enum whenever you know predefined uh, set of possible constant value you can is use enum and uh, annotations we want to give some meta information information some extra information to about your class about your method then you can use annotations these are both very handy and very easy use so here now i am like to again uh, uh, to say thank you for watching this video